Here in the United States, we Catholics have been experiencing massive societal change, a shift from one age of history to another. Most of us over the age of 40 remember when Christian values were the basis for much of our culture. Now it's more common to feel that Christian values are under attack. What happened? These massive changes in our culture have many causes. In the University of Mary's book, From Christendom to Apostolic Mission, my colleagues and I trace many of the ways our culture's overall vision became at odds with our Catholic values. Because of this, for Catholics today to effectively live our faith in public, we must adapt and move to an approach which has allowed Christians to thrive over the past 2,000 years when Catholics have been in the minority or even persecuted for our faith. One very important element of this apostolic mode of living our faith in public is that we adopt a powerfully Catholic vision of the world and human life. So how should Catholics see the world? We should embrace the truth that Christianity is the most shockingly momentous view of what it means to be human that has ever been seriously believed or pursued. The weight of this momentousness is both thrilling and terrifying. In our Catholic vision, to be a human is to be involved in an extraordinary adventure. The greatest adventure stories ever written are only faint echoes of it, pale shadows of what the lowliest human is in truth undergoing. This drama began before we were born and will continue after we die, and each of us has been given a unique role to play. Catholics know that we've been born into an invisible world as well as a visible one. And the invisible world is incomparably more real, more lasting, more beautiful, larger than the visible. Catholics also understand that every human has been created for a magnificent destiny that makes the greatest prizes of this world seem like uninteresting nothings, a destiny of such height that the imagination can hardly take it in. Not only are we meant to know good things, happiness, strength, length of existence, but we have been created to experience the unthinkable, to share in the very nature of God, to become divinized. By many orders of magnitude, the most important event in world history was the coming of God himself in human form among us. He came not only to teach us truth, but also to do battle for us against the powers of darkness and having conquered them to give us life again individually and as the human race. And we Catholics also see human dignity in a life-altering way. In coming to help and save humanity, God did not just intervene from outside. He conferred on us the high dignity of becoming one of us. He arranged matters so that a human might have the honor of conquering the enemies of humanity. He then established a society in the midst of a darkened world a kind of colony of heaven that he inhabits and with which he clothes himself. And he gives to all who follow his lead a share in his own life, along with great responsibilities and notable powers to continue the work of saving and healing the human race. Our great task as Catholics, the whole of our existence here, is to find and embrace our true destiny and to help others to do the same by receiving and embracing the offer of mercy made to us. There are two and only two possible destinations for each human person. To gain the life intended for us as members of a renewed humanity offered to us through Jesus, the God-made man, or to turn obstinately from that life and end as immortal failures. For each person, both are real possibilities, and there is no evading the choice. We must either seize the one or collapse into the other. Catholics inhabit time in the constant recognition that we hover at the edge of eternity. We fire our minds with the lives of the saints, those champions of faith in whom Christ and the new life he brings have been most influential. We battle for goodness and truth in order to gain an everlasting kingdom. In an apostolic age, Catholics must deeply learn and joyfully share this breathtaking, mind-blowing narrative. Too often, Christianity is presented to the mind of the modern believer or seeker as a set of rules to follow or as a number of unattached doctrinal statements to accept 
or as an organization to belong to. When that happens, it can seem like the rules and dogmas get in the way of human happiness. But Christianity is, first of all, a way of seeing. To be apostolic in vision is to realize that Catholics don't see some things differently than others. We see everything differently in the light of the extraordinary drama happening all around us. Let's make a decision. Let's choose to live these truths of our Catholic faith in public and share them with the world. I'm Monsignor James Shea, President of the University of Mary for Edify. This is Scott Landry, Director of Edify. Thank you for watching this video. Please help edify others in our country by sharing this video now through email and social media.